Hi guys, just a very small video to uh, show you a small, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's a small or a big bug in the die uh, inverter. Now what I uh, what I've seen, I'm running these uh, die inverters uh, together with the Pilotech uh, batteries, and I could see uh, a very strange behavior when the export to grid it's disabled so when the solar cell it's disabled and the consumption is very low on the on the load let's see on the dashboard so when the load here it's let's see um 100 watts or, or something like that uh the battery uh, the solar will charge the battery in the in in the day uh, it will reach 100 percent and then it will uh, have an uh, over voltage state um, and this only happens if your uh, solar export is disabled. So what I could see is that I have over voltage on the pylon tech. Can you see 53.4, uh, 53.4, 53.4. Here I have rebooted the inverter and uh, everything was okay. Uh, 53.4, 53.4 here um, and uh, if we go to the battery we can see that the pylon tech recommends maximum 33.3 volts and very strange let's find one that i have uh, this voltage spikes you can see here the voltage will be kept for so it's 11 and a half until 16 so for four hours it will try to keep the voltage over because there is so much sun and there is no consumption no load here i've been playing a little bit with uh, with the load uh, this is an inverter that's uh, remote from me at uh, about 200 uh, kilometers from here so i could not just go and uh, and make changes locally and i I've also seen voltages much lower. I think I've seen 53.5 or, or, or even more. So uh, what is happening? Uh, as I was saying, the bug is if your solar export is disabled, so you have no solar export, zero solar export when the battery is full, what is happening is that uh, the battery will start charging up it will come to uh, 100 percent here state of charge will be 100 the battery goes to 53.3 volts and if everything works correctly the battery will start dumping power back to the to the grid uh, to stabilize the voltage somewhere around 51 volts or 52 at the floating voltage of the bms well if the export grid is disabled and the battery cannot dump the the voltage the, the extra power uh, this over voltage will will happen as you can see here um, it, this happened because the inverter was not uh, approved for uh, grid export until a few uh, days ago uh, and here we have enabled the export to to grid and you can see let's try to zoom here we can see here that the voltage goes 52.8, 52.53 point something, and then drops, drops, drops until here around, yeah, 51 or something like that. Again, here we can see going up 53 point something, and then steady, slowly dropping down to a float uh, voltage. The same here, load, 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 and then steady dropping to a float voltage. So, uh, if you have a die uh, inverter connected with the pylon tech through BMS, just uh, watch out for your batteries. Uh, for now, the solution is uh, to set the battery to voltage mode, um, and then it will work properly. I've been talking with uh, die and they are working on a solution. This seems to be a general problem because I had this problem on... Uh, five inverters all connected with pylon tech and a, they all do the same thing so die inverter connected to pylon tech 
watch out for your uh, for your uh, battery voltage and uh, over voltages thanks for watching guys